We begin now. There is always a Gaia. There is always a world soul. There is a foundation tree, a sacred stone, a secret word, a relic to decipher, a mystery to uncover, and unexplainable phenomena, an impossible truth. This is true of every age and every world you have inhabited or found interesting, including other celestial bodies. There is always a place, a point, a time you call beginning. And to keep things interesting, there are always a variety of personal exits, some slow and others quite fast. Endings too come in different shapes and sizes for how else could there be a next beginning? The end notes of a book usually appear in its last pages although they existed before the book took form. Likely the author used these as reference to frame ideas and to support the subject's validity. But now they rest on the back pages in case anyone cares to read them. End times are like that too. No one pays much mind to the end until it becomes relevant. Hmm? And because you are you, there are infinite stories and ways to tell them. Some are very short, like a book with only a front and back cover. Others are so large, they can only be bound by time, as no physical material could contain so much. For the time being, you will continue to uphold the current philosophy regarding the meaning and purpose of life. Later, it will be assimilated into your next story. You will remain inspired by the idea of a world soul until it falls out of favor with the next storyteller or ruler or God. Then you will cut down the foundation tree, find a reasonable explanation for ancient monuments, delete and forget the secret word and dispose of any inconvenient truths. So allow me to say that you may be interpreting this story your story incorrectly, which is why many of you are bored, depressed, or uninterested. Your story is not a whodunit with the usual cast of characters, formulaic villains and heroes. That story has already been told many times. Think on this before this truth disappears along with the rest. Yours is a different story. You are its author and its devoted subscriber, anticipating each new episode. Yours is an adventure and a treasure, while elusive, still awaits. And because you are you, the conclusion is not yet written. Note that I have belabored this phrase, having spoken it twice now. Perhaps it matters. Hmm? The entire point of being human is to live a new story and to see it through to the end. That is what makes it interesting. And it only matters that the story is new to you. You are free to edit things in or out, revise chapters, or fast forward to the next exciting part, as you are doing now. 
temporarily you have forgotten that this is so you have fallen through the pages down alice's rabbit hole where things are not as they appear that is the reason for the many reminders to wake up once awake you will have enough time to change the outcome perhaps you will add in a last minute miracle or a near impossible rescue the world still awaits a hero and hopes for a new plan for the world and its people if you do nothing things will remain as they are and the holes and hollows of decline will continue the map and the territory will change but the people will not they will repeat their over rehearsed lines and remain stuck in the same rabbit hole until they awaken Yet you can also live the carefully curated life you dreamed yourself into. It is yours for as long as you own it. This is a good enough place to begin. Set the bookmark down and turn the page. The time for lullabies has passed. Naming and blaming has little or no effect. It is truly time now for the children of Earth to rise to their full potential. The system of light by which color is dispersed from the prism will soon change, marking a difference in Earth's density. This too appears in every tale that is spun, a safeguard of sorts, if you will. So here we are together. And for a long time, there was no clock. And now it is ticking loudly with both hands approaching the hour. Even so, time's passage can be slowed, accelerated, or temporarily paused. Currently, it is in the accelerated mode. Think on this. In the meantime, it can be said that your bodies are designed to support life in a variety of environments, including underground and undersea, sky and space, both welcome you. The conditions that have made these environments temporary can be adapted otherwise. You will find evidence of this in your archaeological findings if history is allowed to tell its own story. Overwriting the past is hindering you from discovering needed clues. Earth like colonies have existed elsewhere. And it is true that you have been left with only a handful of clues. But those who left them earnestly believed you would want to start with your own beginning and not their end. Earth stories are not measured by page counts or lifetimes lived. Like color, measurement is inspired by light saturation density briefly then light's density determines everything from the oxygenated air you breathe to the laws of gravity affecting all memories resources range of free will and vitality for life all these are measured in light the viability of the kingdoms that you share the planet with are mm, of necessity tied to yours well, here is where we left off in the adventure story you have been living mm. 
the foes appear to have the upper hand. Real heroes have yet to make themselves known. The terrain ahead looks difficult to traverse on one's own and supplies are running low. If something is going to happen, it should happen soon. The end, if there is one, is still at a distance and cannot be determined, even by the most earnest seekers. Even so, we can surmise that much is yet to happen. Wrongdoers may yet do right. Right doers may be looking out for themselves. The world is dividing into teams with defections yet to come. Science and spirituality are both vying for your attention and patronage. Each will claim rights to a mirror-like event. Teachers of a bygone era may reprise their role if you invite them. And the earth is center stage, at least for now. Thus, it will play its part splendidly. In closing, it can be said that your story, as it was once imagined, did not include the fear and strife that you are now experimenting with. Although your bodies are robust, they can be compromised and weakened as you have recently experienced. And at the risk of over repeating what has already been said, because you are you, almost everything can change. Until the next moment brings us together, we will celebrate this one.